My name is Rich Robin. I'm the founder and owner of Gator Pit of Texas Custom Barbecue Pits in Houston, Texas. I'm going to go over this custom design uh, Gator Pit that we did for a customer in the Houston area here. Uh, you won't find us on the website. You won't find it uh, anywhere on the internet. Uh, it's a unique design. We did it specifically for this one customer. Uh, I think it's a, a, a nice, unique design. I think a lot of, a lot of guys out there, uh, cookers, girls, ladies, are going to be interested in something like this and that it does a lot of different styles of cooking in that you have an offset smoker, you have a grill, you have an upright or warmer box or a vertical box on it, uh, which is also gas fired as well. So we, what we have over here, I'll just start from this way and work my way down. You've got a two foot tall upright. Our uprights are normally a 36 inch tall upright. This is for a customer's home in his backyard, his patio, uh, for his outdoor kitchen. We went 24 tall. We gave him three sliding food racks. And if you've seen our other videos, our, our uprights are usually 36 tall with uh, four slides. This is 24 tall with three slides. And you see how easily they slide out. They don't hang, they don't fall. Uh, the more you pull it out, it doesn't drop down. They hang in place really nice, really well. Uh, Gator Pits quality, Gator Pits fabrication, uh, and attention to detail on these things. Uh, down over here, Let's go over here. You got dual bug house stacks. We put doors on here because this is a big pit. This is 24 inches in diameter. It's a big cooker for a backyard. This customer wanted to make sure that we put dual bug houses on there. He liked the looks of dual bug houses and it also is going to help this cooker draw. <coughs> we did some custom artwork with the Rubio. Uh, we did a door counterweight, dual gauges on the door. Uh, You've got Gator Pit standard quality and door seams, fully flanged doors, full weather on the outside, weather on the inside as far as these drip bars, your stainless steel cool touch handles. We've got the sliding food trays. Again, you use minimum drop. Uh, a lot of the other guys out there when they build these things, these trays have a tendency to do that on you. Uh, we make sure our tolerance is really tight so you have that minimum sag, that minimum drop when you slide your meat out. There's two new plates in there. Uh, to adjust and control temperatures left and right, make it cook more even, get more t heat over here to where you can cook in this upright as opposed to just a warmer. <coughs> You've got a, a big 14-inch uh, stainless steel drop-down shelf. Uh, it does drop down. I've got it up because I want to show you the lower storage here that's boxed in. He's got some enclosed area. It also gives us access to the drains and also to the gas lines that are going into the upright, which you can see the gas lines there. On our gas lines, we're using copper. Uh, we're using brass fittings, all NSF approved uh, materials and parts for our gas systems. Uh, for those that are looking at doing this in a restaurant or in a commercial setting, uh, all the gas uh, devices, parts, materials, fittings, everything is NSF approved uh, materials and parts. So you shouldn't have any problems getting the local health department and fire marshal department and anybody else that's inspecting your equipment for your restaurant or your commercial business approving this device. Um, let's see what else we got on here. You've got, oh, the upper tray. They have a sliding food rack here. You can see that it slides out. It's got what we call a carny tray. We came up with this design, oh, golly, 10 plus years ago. You won't see it as an option on my website. Uh, this is probably the first time I've ever even mentioned this design in that it is a full sliding meat rack at the top. But what's unique about it in our design is that we did something a little different. And that is you can take this part out. You can slide the back half in. You still have a, you still have a sliding food tray up top and you have a full slide food tray by putting this back in there. But it allows you to be able to do beer can chickens larger cuts of meat like big 26 pound turkeys and not have to take out the entire front uh, top rack to do that and again this locks in place it slides out and hangs just like the other one does this comes completely out if you want to completely remove it but you can lock the front half back in that's one of our little gator stickers and slide it back in and now you got a full sliding meat rack again we call this our carny tray that name came about because one of our customers years and years and years ago by the name of Steve Johnson had a username on all these barbecue forms by the name of Carnivore. He's the one that asked if we could come up with something that would do this. It was his idea. i got to give him credit for it. 
The only thing I did was I figured out how to do it. Uh, so ever since then, it's been referred to as the carny tray. So we do get customers occasionally that order the carny tray. And they probably saw that on a forum somewhere of pictures on the internet of this guy's gator pit with that design. So they call and order the carny tray. So if you want this particular uh, top shelf in your cooker, your gator pit, just call me and say you want to add the carny tray to the top upper shelf. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be a similar design to our party gator model with the split top half or full rack on the party gator. You can see that on our website, gatorpit.net. Look for the party gator. But we made that into a sliding rack as well. So you get the convenience of both features. A sliding full size rack or a half rack that also slides as well. <coughs> These are our gator forks. These are options. They're little tools. They're convenient. You can call them meat tools. You can use them as uh, uh, great forks. You can use them for whatever you want. They're sharp. They use them to move big pieces of meat around. That's what they're for with stainless steel cool touch handles on them. They're called the gator forks. Dual gator pit temperature gauges. Uh, the stacks, you notice we have these uh, Yeti bottle openers. That was added. The customer wants to put those on there. But we simply attached them. To both uh, to two stacks, and you got another birdhouse over here. We do that because he also has a charcoal ability built into this pit. So he's got a gas cooker, a charcoal fired cooker, and a smoker all in one cooker. This is something that you probably won't find anywhere else. I, I don't know of anybody offhand that does a design like this. Uh, Gator Pit does. That's all we do. So he's got some custom artwork. We've got a king of the grill with a cowboy on it. Uh, we got a half inch thick square fire box that measures 24 by 24 by 24. I'll get some pictures. I'll move the camera around later to show you what the inside of this thing looks like. But he's got a charcoal basket. He's got gas assist in there. Your valves are back here to control the gas inside the fire box. He's got an ash pan in there as well. He's got uh, a Texas dual Texas slide air vents back here on the fire box door. And he's got utensil hangers for his ash rake and his fire poker that he's added to this uh, gator pit as well. So it's a very unique cooker. The propane tank holder mounts in the back. It's detachable as well. So if he needs to move this thing around or store it, he can take the tank holder off. It just clips off and on real easy. Uh, he's got an access door here with an air vent. He's got his burners in there. He's got a cast iron commercial heavy duty H burner. He's got a quarter inch thick V-shaped deflector shield that's removable. Uh, if you were to ever have to replace any of our gas parts uh, pertaining to our burners, uh, if you're familiar with gas grills, everybody buys these cheap gas grills from the retail stores. When those burners go out, it's hard to replace them. It's hard to find the parts. Uh, the tools are required, uh, our Phillips screwdrivers, flatheads, are required to get the screws or the bolts out, which at that point are usually rusted, corroded. You can't get to them. So really, when it comes down to replacing your gas grill parts, you can't do it. Mine. They just lift and pull out. No tools required at all. We fabricated this and designed this so that you don't have to have tools to replace any of the internal gas parts on our cookers. It's that easy. Our deflector shield just lifts and pops right back in place. It's that easy. And it's quarter inch thick steel. It's going to be around for a very long time. It's not going to burn out on your cheap retail gas grills. Deflector V-shaped plates will. <coughs> so that's that. There's an air vent here, dial style also. Feeds oxygen, which is why we have the extra stack over here, because when he's running gas in here, we want to get as much oxygen in here as we can. That's why we put an air vent here for the burners. We put dual stacks on both ends. Uh, if he wants, again, if he wants the charcoal grill, he's got that ability with a charcoal grate that's removable. That's down in that belly right there, this 40-inch main chamber. This is 20 by 40. All quarter-inch thick steel, including the upright, half-inch thick on the firebox. I don't know what else I can show it to you. It's a beautiful pit. It's a unique design by, by me, Rich Gator Pit. Uh, this customer is going to be extremely happy with it. He's picking it up tomorrow. He's excited. Uh, he's been waiting a long time for it. As everybody knows, we've got one heck of a waiting list for our Gator Pits. But that's because we're known for our quality and our custom designs, things that nobody else does out there. Um, we do it every day, every day. So if you want a custom pit and you want to get somebody like myself, a pit designer, that can design it right to where it actually functions, and doesn't just look pretty, but it actually works, and it's efficient, fuel efficient, whether it's gas, charcoal, wood-fired, combination of all of the above, call Gator Pit, speak with me, I'll design it for you, I'll tell you what we need to do with it, be patient with us, we do turn our products out, 
but it takes a long time to get one because we've got such an extensive waiting list and we ship our data pits worldwide. We have a clientele everywhere, all over the world. And uh, everything is like this. They're, they're just that unique and that custom. So give me a call, 713-896-0144. That is my office, my assistant. If I'm not in, speak with her. Uh, leave a message with her if she can't answer your questions. Uh, go to our website, GatorPit.net, G-A-T-O-R-P-I-T.net, GatorPit.net. Email me, info at GatorPit.net, I-N-F-O at GatorPit.net. Go to our YouTube channels. Uh, if you're watching this, obviously you're there. Go check out other 50-plus videos and all of our other different unique designs. Uh, see what Gator Pit's doing. I've got some cooking videos of me at home cooking on my, my, my Gator Pit, showing you what I do and how I do it. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Also, we offer cooking classes. Go to GatorPitBBQSchool.com. That's GatorPitBBQSchool.com. Look for our next cooking class. Extremely informative, informative. We offer a lot of material in an eight to 10 hour day cooking class than anyone else out there. I guarantee it. Check it out. Call me if you have any questions about our cooking classes. Uh, we're gonna host them about every quarter, so about every three months, we'll have a cooking class. And they're gonna be various classes covering different things. Some are gonna be your basics, some are gonna be your more advanced classes. Some are gonna be covering general backyard barbecue, some are gonna be covering catering, commercial uh, uh, cooking. Uh, but check them out, if any questions, give me a call. Again, Rich Gator Pit, founder, owner, Gator Pit. Uh, I'm the one you're going to deal with. See ya.